What I see with the conservative plan is a handful of ideas that look frankly like they've been pulled off Google after a five minute piece of research, thrown at the wall to see what sticks, rather than concrete solutions to very real problems that the Canadian housing sector. Well, yes, yes. If the conservatives are so obstructionist, and they're slowing down everything in the house, why are you even doing this omnibus, omnibus bill that's going to contain all these measures? Why not just a standalone GST bill that seems to have broad support in the house? Uh, well, look, what we've seen you know, over the past couple of years is that the Conservatives don't like to admit publicly that they're against something that is popular, right? Um, we saw that with child care. We saw that with dental care. You know, Mr. Polyev still doesn't want to say what he would do should he become Prime Minister on dental care because his position will be highly unpopular with Canadians. And so, you know, this is something that we're going to move forward with. We know we need to do it urgently. It's one of the reasons why the Prime Minister made the announcement last week. It's one of the reasons why uh, Minister Champagne is meeting with the grocery CEOs today to really put that pressure on them because we know that this is something that is important for Canadians. And if I can take a minute just on the on grocery prices, you know, we've seen inflation come down significantly over the past year. But we haven't seen the change when it comes to the food, the food prices at the grocery store. Groceries uh, chains in this country are making record profits right now on the backs of Canadians. And so I have to give it to the Parliamentary Committee last year that did a great job bringing them in, at demanding transparency from them. And what we learned through that process is that we have to modernize the Competition Act. 